can also manually add content anytime in your storyboard. So let's say I come in here and set some rows here. And then I'm just going to say get additional stock items. Right, and we might say the time for that, we could just add a time. So let's say it took uh, five seconds for this. Uh, it's going to be non-value added right here. And uh, the play time of this we're going to make, it's going to be, let's say, six. And I can just add a picture perhaps, so I can copy this guy and place it down here. So I need to add a few more rows here. I want to make sure that fits here. So I'm going to copy this item here. Hit the right button, copy, and I'm going to place it. Now, the key thing is to make sure that you place it on the same row, starting in the same row. So you can see here, I have to line it up. My row here is row 19. I can put it anywhere in that cell. The top left-hand corner has to be in row 19. It will pick that up here. And what I'm going to do is just change the picture on this. And this could be some other information you want to type here. So I'm just going to put a picture in here. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to take out this information. And I'm going to insert a picture. Just any old picture will do fine. So go here, pictures, and uh, I've got some samples over here. And let's put a timer pro flowchart in there. So I can make the flowchart small enough to fit in there. Now what's going to happen here? It's going to play for 10 seconds and the video will play and everything else will work fine. And the next six seconds, this one will come up and it will change just the one piece. The only piece it's going to change is going to be the section number two, which is this one right here. You see if I click on it, section two, which is actually going to be this part in the video area here. I'll stop that right there. So now we're ready to start this here and we can go and try it. So go to the storyboard and we click on the play. So here's the uh, initial one. This is going to play for the nine seconds. And then the manually entered one is going to show for, I think I said, six seconds. So here's the manually entered one. And all it's doing is showing you the uh, chart here. That's the only thing we wanted to do there. And it's going to go into the next one. All right. So if we stop this. We can add additional content here manually very easily. Come over here. And let's say you want to add some notes at the bottom here. So I'm going to take a copy of this one. Click on this, hit the right button, do a copy, bring it into row 19, right button, and do a paste. There, it's right there. Again, I can move it anywhere as long as the top left-hand corner is within row 19. And I might say, just put a note in here and say, please look at the flowchart for details. All right, that's all we're going to do here. So now we can go back over here to the storyboard. This time, what's going to happen it's going to replace this one with a flowchart, and the note will come in here as well. So I play it from the beginning. So this is playing for the nine seconds as planned. Here's the flowchart. Please look at the flowchart for details. You see the note right there? And then it's going to move on to the next one after that. So what we're showing you here is how you can actually just manually enter and then cut and paste new sections into your storyboard, which makes it extremely flexible as you can put essentially anything you want in there.